now this brings us to the meat of our chapter which is really asking the question what is sound so if you were to think of sound as something that travels in the air and reaches your ears you're right now we're going to go into it deeply and ask the question what exactly is sound so let's begin let's take our guitar and let's pluck one of the strings and observe what happens here what do you observe what looks like that what looks like a real really fast oscillation if you were to slow things down right look at what you see you begin to observe that the string goes outwards and reaches a maximum point and when it does that what does it do there is air all around it this little string here in this case goes that way begins to press air together in other words there is a higher density of air in that little pocket next to the string as you can see now what do you observe there's high pressure there right from your understanding of pressure from the previous chapters you know that there's a higher pressure there now what happens to the string immediately the string is going to come back right when it does that what is what is it really doing it's kind of pulling the air behind it which means that there is it's pushed some air and it's come back now which means that in this gap there's going to be less air which is low pressure so in one up and down what the string uh, is really done is that it's compressed some air and it's brought back and it's kept a little bit of air less for some time so high pressure low pressure now what is the string going to do again it's going to create this again but even if it does not do that this high pressure area in other words air pushed that way what is it going to do it's going to try and push the air on the other side of it even more right so this compression is going to push it a little bit more on that side and that's going to push it more on the other side and this in other words the compression is going to travel along with the rarefaction following it right in other words you push some air that all these balls of air go and hit each other become closely packed they hit the next areas they hit the next areas and so on as you can see so in other words what begins to happen is that this compression it's like it's almost like tak 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 it starts moving through the air i'm showing it to you in one line but you know that's happening as a circle all around because air starts moving in every possible direction it starts getting compressed and rarefacted in all possible directions so there's one compression and one rarefaction traveling in all possible directions